Hey guys, it's Morgan uh, coming to you with another product introduction video, I guess we'll call it. Um, yeah, so anyway, this uh, super cool company, Dustworks, got a hold of me a little while back and asked if I would review and check out their product. Well, I just got it and I am really excited to try it out and tell you guys about it. So let's dig in and see what we got. All right, guys, so there it is, Dustworks, spelled like German, I guess, Dustworks. Um, <laughs> and what this is, it is a Moto Chase Light, they call it. Um, so it's pretty cool, and I'm actually kind of excited to try it out because I have raced uh, Score. Um, I've raced other big desert races, Vegas Torino, um, things like that. And one of the big worries when you're doing those things is that someone's not going to see you, uh, especially at night, and they're going to run into you. Uh, most of our bikes, uh, you know, we have some big, nasty, huge headlight on the front of the bike, so you can see way, way out there, but we don't focus much on what's aiming back. Uh, and obviously, you know, theoretically, we're just going to go so fast that no one catches us, right? <laughs> well, the reality is sometimes people do catch us, and... Um, also, sometimes big, nasty, scary trophy trucks and things like that catch us. So, Dustworks has come up with a pretty cool solution. It's a red LED light. Uh, it's got a lithium battery pack. Um, it's pretty cool. It'll run for 18 hours um, with this thing blinking. And I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Um, also, it's pretty cool. It's got a separate USB uh, port, so you could charge a phone or uh, your Garmin Interreach or whatever. Uh, this is the charging port, so it comes obviously with the charger, charging port. Uh, this is the on off switch for the whole thing. So plug this in like that. Then we turn it on, and there it goes. So that's it flashing. Um, it's got uh, this, you know, turn it off here. So it's pretty cool. It's got this. Uh, let me see if I can focus. Focus, there we go. So this is the control. You can see it's got mode, speed, and then light. So mode is what kind of flashy you get. So, so that's the kind of the normal one. Then we go like that, and you can see it just kind of wavering. And that's more of a super awesome dance mode. Then we got the crazy epilepsy mode, uh, <laughs> another crazy epilepsy mode, and then back to normal. So then you can go with the speed, you can slow it down, and see when you're super oonsing to some serious house music, you can really slow down and get down to it. And super slow when you're with your girlfriend, and then there we go and then bam back to that so let's check out the next mode and i think you can slow that down so the middle button just does speed with everything pretty cool so then this bottom one says light it just turns on the light and i'll show you why it does that so you could just run it that'd be kind of cool so on when you hit the light button you can uh, brighten it or dim it with the speed button so there we go Full bright, back down to whatever. So the cool thing is it comes with a work light uh, lens. Let me show you that. So just take a screwdriver into these little guys. Beep. There we go. Then we got this one. And now it's a work light. So if you're out late at night, you're riding and something breaks, boom. You got a nice bright light. Obviously, you could make it strobe in all these things too, um, but the point is, this is more for working. So I think it's pretty cool, guys. Like I said, it'll run for 18 hours, which is longer than any night we have. Maybe up in Alaska, that might not be quite long enough. Um, but I'm actually pretty excited to uh, run it in the dust around here. We get some really, really, really dusty conditions um, here in Montrose, and we ride into the dusk you know, and yeah, well, into the night too. And I, I have many times been, you know, you come up and you can kind of see the person's headlight shining out in front of them, but not really well, especially if there's a lot of dust. I think it's gonna be a pretty cool thing to put on your back. It comes with uh, Velcro mounts. Um, it's got Velcro on the back, and then it's got the Velcro for this. I'm trying to figure out exactly where I'm gonna mount it. I haven't decided yet. With the Velcro, I don't know. Um, if it's gonna work great on my pack 
or if I'm gonna need to put it on the back of my helmet, which that wouldn't be bad at all, just to put the Velcro back there on the helmet, uh, and then uh, just run the cord and drop it into the top of my pack. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not uh, for everyone. You know, not everybody does a lot of riding in big groups and dust and like at night. Um, just, you know, we don't always, right? Um, but out here we do, we ride at night a lot and uh, I think it'd be really cool. It's also super neat to have something that could be a work light because your helmet light, um, I've actually, there's a quick story time. I have a story time of one night we were out in the rain up on the plateau at about 11.30 at night riding and one of our guys with us crashed uh, and he broke his shift shaft, not just the lever, broke the shaft off clean with the cases. Really, really long story short, um, we needed to work on the bike and get him into a gear to get out of there. So we all grabbed our helmet lights, aimed it at it, did our thing. Well, it took a while to get it done, and eventually one of the helmet lights died, which then left us one helmet light down. And we had to ride miles out of the forest uh, with one guy without a helmet light, and it was obviously a nightmare. We had to ride behind in front of him. He couldn't see. It was just, a, it sucked. So I really, really liked that. And even... Even if you don't run it on your back um, as a marker, so people see you, maybe just have that in your back um, as just a work light, just in case something goes wrong, or as a strobe light to alert someone. Uh, if something's going wrong, you can just set that thing out so people see it. Uh, I think there's a lot of good uses. Um, guys, if you have other uses that you think would be cool, make sure you comment below. Um, make sure you check them out on Instagram on, at Dustworks, D-U-S-T-W-E-R-K-S. Um, check them out. They've got a store there. You can buy them online. That kit right there is 150 bucks with the battery charger, light, and the other cover and the Velcro and everything. So anyway, I hope that's interesting. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, go check them out online. Um, and definitely stay tuned and subscribe to the channel, guys, because I will be um, uh, reviewing it, testing it, beating on it, seeing if I can break it. And I'll get back to let you know how I like it.